morning! Flashing lights on diggers this morning. Hello and I can't open a gate. Welcome to my daily blog of life on a beef and arable farm. Um, Andy will be here in a minute and we will get some cattle fed. But if you like this sort of thing, remember to press the like button and subscribe if you're not already. Back my car up. It's really hard for me to tell you what's happening in the day because nothing's ever planned, something always breaks down and what I think is going to happen in the morning often transpires not to happen in the afternoon. That's farming, it's unpredictable. That's how we go. Just like this, my dad says, oh, Laurie needs filling up. He's got over half a tank and he'll not even use quarter, so. Um, I'll do that another day. That's one job off the list, brilliant. Right, I'll jump in Andy's tractor and get this backed up. Just block and wait. So I'm just a bit earlier than Andy, so I thought I'll jump on and uh, use a straw blower while it's uh, got a bale in it and stuff. Oh, Andy's here, look. Boop, 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 boop. Andy now, um, he's on the straw blower. I'm gonna get feeding round. On TM, it's looking very dusty. Since it was uh, milling yesterday, so I'm in the lorry now. We're gonna get back up, get these cattle in, and then get my dad off. Andy will clean it lower with clean and green. <laughs> Did it work? Put the wax on next day. Eh? So Andy's cracking on down there, I'm cracking on just feeding. My dad's out of the yard. Uh, we've got some, we've got a lot of cattle to move around. Um, maybe some to back today, and then hopefully we get to use the foot bath today. That is um, down on the floor there. We're just gonna have to really think about where we're gonna put it. Um, it's not something I don't think, if we fill it with water, we're gonna be able to move around. So we need a bit of a, a sort of static place, probably going to build a race with bales or something, you know, it's going to be real Heath Robinson, but, um, but yeah, should be fun. It was nice to see the positive comments last night, rather than the where's M comments, um, but I'm glad that, you know, everybody now knows the full story, and um, yeah, I feel like it's weight off my shoulders that I've been able to tell you what's going on. Um, I'm sure Emma will be loving it that um, you guys are sending such positive comments to her and um, yeah, all the best to, to Emma in a new career. And my new career, opening the gates. <laughs> and he's just strawing inside and outside. So, bin men have just been. A good bunch them. Can you imagine what the world would be like if we didn't have bin men? like refuge collection. Oh god. Right, yeah. Yeah, it'd be horrible, wouldn't it? Don't bear thinking about, so thank you to all the bin men. They do a fantastic job. And bin women, bin women as well. Is it bin operator now? I don't know. I don't know what you say, but yeah, um, people are working refuge. Thank you very much. I'm really thinking into this, but is refuge American? Waste. Crap. I don't know. What's what's the proper words? Let me know. Is refuge, you know, like refuge collection, is that American? Refuge. I think it is, isn't it? No, I don't either. I've just said it and I'm like confusing myself. Rubbish. <laughs> Rubbish collection, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. Andy's trying to work it out as well. <laughs> it's a refuge collector, a bin person, bin operative. Waste, op waste op I bet it's waste operative. Waste collection operative. Yeah. Anyway, I've got into this way too much. I'm sorry, it's a farming it's channel. A it's not. Job, isn't it? It's probably something higher than that. It's probably like. Yeah, <laughs> the real posh word, isn't it? Manager, waste manager. Yeah. yeah. Anyway, right, anyway, I'm gonna. Sorry, I'm, we're waffling on about things not farming. So, Andy's just going in here to put some straw in, but we've just been deliberating on where we put this foot bath. We need somewhere that's fairly level. But then also somewhere that's got a lot of space behind it and a bit of space in front of it and an area where we can like build some bales to make a bit of a corral to go in and you'd think it'd be easy but it's not um 
you know, wondering about if we put it there in that sort of area. Having a bit of a clean up and trying that, but see what happens. Helicopter's going over. Andy says this goes over every morning. I often don't get a chance to see it. I have today, business. It's coffee time. So Andy's just been doing a good job of tidying this up and hopefully that's where we can get our foot bath in. We have a bit of imagination. We'll, uh, we'll get it there. So right now we're just making a bit of a funnel around this corner because the cattle are going to come in here, come round through the footpath that's going to be on the end of the shed and then out into the open space. And it's all going to work perfectly and smoothly and everything's just going to go straight to plan. Um, I hope. So here we're just trying to get it so cattle can't go behind and try and talk to these cows. Yeah. Um, yeah, release it then, Andy. And then just push his corner so it... So it's against the gate. So we don't want any trying to get behind the gate. Probably wouldn't, but... Cows do seem to like... Yeah! Do seem to like um, getting stuck in places and things like that, so... Just, you know, over-engineering this a little bit. And he's like, he's here, he's here. That is a weapon of an helicopter. It's a Chinook or something, isn't it? We had him flying over, uh, it was about a couple of months ago, weren't it, Andy, when he flew over real low over the farm? Yeah. I think there were two of them or three. Do you want me to get in hand with this? Yeah. It makes it look bad on video, Andy. Yeah, come, on, come on, let me help you. Yeah, what a beast. So we're just thinking about how we're doing this. We put the gates up here. Go on, Andy, show us your idea. Tell us your idea. Yeah, we'll just put a wedge of straw there. So we haven't got a visual jump back. Yeah, so we've not got such a, such a step into the, the foot bath. Um, so the idea is we're going to put some bales at this side. Then we've got like a funnel. We're going to fetch cattle in through there, into here. We're going to have bales at this side. That gate will be shut so that they can't escape and they'll have a visual to go out and um, and away. And hopefully it's wide enough. It's it's a fair width this one. It's an extra wide foot bath. So there should be plenty of light for them to see where they want to go on the exit. So Andy's just fetching the bales up to it. Whoa! We're going to go too high here so that... Um, They've not got the visual to go anywhere apart from forwards. Keep coming. Come on. A bit more. Yeah, that'll do. So you can see now, this is the wrong way around. It's going to be more light coming this way because this is where we're going into the shed, into the darkness. Um, cattle don't really like that. They like to move towards the light, but not bright light. Now Andy's fetching the big guns. Blue trailer to act as a block. This is taking some manpower to sort this out. Like, I could do with something a bit more permanent than this. So, Andy's got the water on now for the foot bath. It like 500 and odd litres, this foot bath. Yeah, no, we're not going to fill it that. We're not going to fill it that full. I'm going to mark the uh, thing and see how much water we actually put in. Um, I've just been looking on uh, AHDB and it says copper sulfate dilute at 45% if it's non. Acidified, if it is acidified, then it's one to two percent. AHDB coming through good because that's I didn't know what dilution to put it because we just got a bag, but they tell you all that information. So, another way the AHDB has helped me out today, I've used their information. So, I was like, oh god, percentages, how the hell am I going to work this out? Read a little bit further on the AHDB, and it's like, copper sulfur, if you're putting it in 50 grams per one litre, that's where you need to do it. So, we've measured the uh, well, there's a, we didn't need to measure it. It says on the sticker, 550 litres um, of water. So we're going to half fill the foot bath. No point filling it all the way to the top. So we're just going to spill it. So half fill it. So that works out a half a bag of um, copper sulfate. Just to be on the, the right side of uh, the, the lower side of the spectrum. Because we don't really want to 
hit him too hard with um, with the chemical. Um, it needs to be just right. So it's made a lovely blue coloured water. It's like it's like we're in the Caribbean or something, isn't it, Andy? Oh, I was gonna take my clothes off and have a bath. Oh god. Oh no. Bring back Mick. Yeah. <laughs> Mick might get in it. Andy said if Mick went in it, water would leave. We don't say that, so I've said it. He <laughs> <laughs> oh, did ring my dad once when he were in the bath. Did right? he? Yeah. And he says, oh, bloody hell, Jonathan. I'd move from one end of the bath to the other and there were no water over it. <laughs> 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 oh, we'll ask him about it on Saturday when we see him. So here we've got our collecting yard. They come into here. Me and Andy are going to be pushing them along, maybe a few at a time. Ideally, this space we've not got just how we like it, but it's 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 nearly there. Basically, we probably ought to have come out a little bit more there, but hey ho, this is how it is. And then they will cut the cattle will come into here. We'll be able to force them a little bit here, go into single file, hopefully, and then that gate there will be shut. So then there'll just be a a trail of light that they can go doosh, walk through here. Out the other end. His mates following behind. And then they're into this yard then. And these ones will be done. So fingers crossed we can get everything through. So I've just come back from my dinner. There's a Hereford look in. They're all interested in the straw by the looks of it. And he's just sending them up now. So we'll see if we can get some through. I'm hoping we can. So we're trying this now. Go on, get on. Get on, boys. Get on. Get on. Go ahead. Get on. Go on, lass. Go on. They are going through. Which is good. That's it, lass. Get on. Go on. It's good. So the uh, the trick is we just send a few up at a time. Come on now, get on. Get on, boys. Get on. Make your way through. Come on. So there's definitely some improvements can be made next time. But we just do that with the forklift and fetch some more bales in. It's just a bit... I can send them up, but then Andy's left on his own and it's too wide a gap to hold them. So we're just going to take like threes and fours at a time. I see this one here, just limping a bit. So this is what we're trying to sort out. So how his feet. Come on, that's it. Come on. Come on. Come on. There we go. Once we're standing back, me and Andy. Once they start going through, they're off. Even though we've not got it perfect, we're still getting more animals done. And probably doing it better, because but yeah, everything's getting a dose and they're getting the feet actually properly wet with it and yeah. We're catching the ones we can't see. They're not visible. Well yeah, yeah, because you do get a lot that are just just starting with it and we go round and round the pen and they run Yeah, because cattle are like herd animals, they don't like to show pain. So if they are limping it is because it's hurting them basically. So the ones that are just feeling it a little bit can disguise it well. That big Hereford there is stubborn as anything. <laughs> well, he's gone through eventually. Right, so that's all that pen done now, thankfully. Woo! Yes, you're looking at us. So we got one pen done, which, yeah, would have took us like two or three days, I think, spraying. But we we're gonna do another one, but my dad's bought like 40 cattle or something and they're coming now, so um, we've gotta go and make some space in some yards and, and um, yeah, set up a new cattle pen. We're shifting stuff now, cause we're gonna go from that pen into foot bath pen. So Andy's just gonna pick the trailer up, shift that out of the way. We're gonna use this and the spreader bale to make a new block and a new funnel over there. So this is the sort of thing that I was meaning. Andy opens that gate, we'll get a few out of there and we'll put them round and jobs are good. Em. The trouble that we are finding with these Angus is they are very good at being very stubborn. So they'll stop just before the foot bath and be like, I ain't going through there. No chance, mate. 
So we've got two really, really stubborn ones that won't come through the, the thing at all. Um, so we're just going to leave them, see if they walk through themselves. We're going to bat the cattle around here and drop them off because my dad's just turned back up. So Andy's just opening it up. We'll get these guys off. That's it, nice and steady. To their new pen. So we've got them all to put back in their pen now. Me and Andy have done enough walking for today. In and out of uh, pens, walking in muck is quite uh, quite difficult. So, like, there ain't many of them really with bad feet. Seems to be the British blues that we seem to have the uh, most of the problem with. Come on, get back in your pen. Come on. But it's just, if these aren't showing, come on, come on, come on, come on. Oh, you buggers. Come on. This is the problem. It's late on, but my bro's here. But, um, Andy's just putting the trailer out away from uh, arm's weight. I'll just cut a bit of silage out for him. And we'll, uh, we'll start feeding in a minute. It's orange zero sugar from Viva Time. This cow is literally trying to eat my arm. Not yet. <laughs> hey, same one. Same one every time. I've probably shown you this one a million times. It's lovely. It's lovely, but it's very, very extra, 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 extra consistent. Tiny man. You just, you just don't take no one answer. See ya. Ready? On that note, I'm off. Andy's on. He's mixing with a nine metre. Today's mixer mention is James Cook, who's 44, and that's from Suzanne Sanderson. She says we're doing a great job. Thank you very much, Suzanne, for donating to Yorkshire Ambulance. Yeah, big, big load of cattle. Well, not like Arctic load of cattle, but it's a big lorry. Twin decks. Cattle are all dropped off now, which is good. We're just feeding out the rest of the pens. So Andy's in the lorry, just giving that a blast out. I've been in. Just um, sweeping it out for him, but we're in each other's way now, so I'm just going to uh, get the windows on this a bit of a clean. Keep Andy up it. You don't know I'm doing this, you see. So uh, I'm sure he'll be impressed when he gets out. Okay, so I've even done Andy's tractor for him. He will be happy in that little lorry. So that is about it. I've got everything into the shed now. And um, Andy's just finished with the, uh, what you call it, uh, washing. So Andy, what I want to know is, I've cleaned that, them windows for you on your 130 and on the nine meter. Are you impressed? Oh, I'm very impressed. No, I see, I knew I'd impress him with that. I knew I'd impress you him. You've done the nice clean job while I got in the lorry and washed it out. Got I got the hard job. Did you? Yeah, you just had, so it's with the lens just going up and down like this. I'm having to climb up this and climb up that and whoa, scrub it down. I'd have swapped you any day, Andy. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Next on, time. Next time, next time. Um, anyway, if you've liked today's video, remember to press the like button. Subscribe if you've not already. Uh, JoeSeals.com for the merchandise. And me and Andy will see you tomorrow. Um, might put some more cattle through the race. I might have a new thing coming tomorrow, possibly. Yeah. Purchased by YouTube. It might be coming tomorrow. I don't know. Just, yeah, I think it will be. But anyway, business. See you later, guys. Bye.